Welcome everyone to this bedtime yin yoga practice where all you will need is yourself and your bed. My name is Joelle and our first posture will be child's pose. So sitting on your heels, you can widen the knees as much as you would like and simply begin to walk your hands forward on your bed, releasing the chest and forehead in the direction of your mattress. So yin yoga is one of the most relaxing ways that we can finish out our day, giving the body and mind an opportunity to release and reflect before heading into deep sleep. So throughout our practice today, you could keep your eyes closed and just breathe. Wonderful. Lifting our way back up just enough to roll over onto your back. And we'll cross the right ankle over the left knee for sleeping swan. You're welcome to keep the left foot on the bed or lift it up to catch behind that left thigh or front of right shin with both hands. Think about the right knee continuing to move away from the body. And this sleeping swan is a wonderful posture to do, particularly if you spent much of the day sitting. Just a deep release for that right hip. So enjoy the stretch, enjoy the sensation, and tune in to your breath. And then before we do the other side, we'll come to a sleeping butterfly posture, bringing soles of both feet together, knees apart. You might rest one hand on the belly and the other to your heart. Feeling both of these areas rise and fall with your breath. Soothing the nervous system letting go of the day, putting it behind you, and readying yourself for sweet dreams. From this pose, bring the hands to the outsides of the thighs to encourage them back in towards one another. And we'll find our sleeping swan with the left ankle over right knee, remaining here if you would like, or pulling that right knee in, in the direction of the body, holding shin or thigh, Observing if this sight may be any different from the first. 
And if the mind is active, perhaps any racing thoughts, allow these deep stretches, long hold postures to gently remind it that the day is coming to a close. There will be many more opportunities tomorrow, but for now, set that aside. Stay here and stay calm. Gently releasing that leg if you were holding on to it. Uncross the ankle. We'll come towards waterfall pose. So bringing one leg and then the other to extend up towards the ceiling. Keeping the feet and ankles nicely relaxed. Soft bend in the knees. You could even maybe prop your Legs up against the headboard of your bed or against a wall here. Just giving the blood in the legs a chance to flow in the opposite direction. Perhaps after a day spent running around or being on your feet a lot. Really wonderful pose to do in the evening. And very slowly begin to re-bend those knees, bringing one foot and then the other back to your mattress. And we'll take a gentle twist here, allowing both knees to fall towards your left. And you can keep the head and upper body facing the ceiling or you're welcome to turn the head over your right shoulder. And I like to rest my left hand to the outside of the legs just to encourage them to sink that little bit further. Practicing on a bed, of course, sometimes brings up different sensations from practicing on a yoga mat. So perhaps something to experiment with and feel out what is best for you and your body in the evenings. And again, moving slowly here, let's bring both knees up through center and eventually letting them fall over towards the right, resting one or both hands to the outside of your left leg and maybe turning the head towards the left. Wherever you are, staying with the pose, staying with your breath, a few moments here.
And let's bring one knee followed by the other back to center. Extend through one leg and extend the other. Turn the palms to face upwards for Shavasana, our final resting posture and the most precious of all postures to lead us into a night of peaceful sleep. And I do hope that your body and mind appreciated finishing the day outright with this gentle yin yoga practice together. I do thank you for joining me tonight. And I have several shorter yin yoga practices for the morning in case you would like to start your tomorrow outright. I do wish you a wonderful night. Sweet dreams.